I hate that I, uh, I, I don't know. I hate the idea that I would have, I would have to rely on medication to feel normal. I hate that. Hello, everybody. My name is Jake Damon, a.k.a. The Fasting Nomad, and you've stumbled upon a very important video of mine. Uh, I've been kind of gone for three or four months. I just uploaded a video yesterday talking about some big news, so go check that out. Before you do that, though, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be talking about escitalopram, which is a... Uh, medication that I have been taking for about a month now. I started off on five milligrams and now I'm up to 10 milligrams as of three days ago. And I'm going to kind of tell you and give you a little bit, uh, I'll give you a little bit of background of, of uh, in, I can't even talk. I'll give you a little bit of background into uh, my depression, my anxiety, where that came from. I don't know, by the way, uh, where I think it came from. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I just made like a 25-minute video kind of really diving deep into my life. And it's it contains some information that maybe I don't want in there. And it's going to be really hard to edit out. So I might put it up sometime. I might not. I don't know. It could be like a Patreon exclusive. Just kidding. I don't have Patreon. But uh Anyway, we're going to be talking about this. I first got depression back in 2013, 2012, 2013. My parents had moved down to Tennessee with us, me and my brother. And it was like a really difficult time for various reasons. And it was just like I felt uprooted from my friends and connections I was making in Pennsylvania, which we had just moved to like three years before that from New York. And I just felt lonely and I got really depressed, anxious. I started acting out. I would like escape the house at midnight or one o'clock in the morning, go to Walmart, steal Legos. It was a whole thing. Uh, I think I stole like three Lego sets. I can't remember what they were exactly, but they were ones I wanted and I obtained them without paying. And to this day, I feel guilty about it. And I think I still have the Legos. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did things like that. I would like go to like a flower shop that was closed because it was two o'clock in the morning and I would like switch letters around. So they said different bad profane things that I thought were funny at the time and still think are funny, but was very bad to do. I would not do that today. That's the difference. That's the key difference. But anyway, I was so depressed and uh, we finally moved back like a year later because of various things that transpired i'll get into that someday maybe we'll see um but the depression didn't really go away and uh there were just many events in my life that took place that got me into a deeper depression uh i became socially anxious out of nowhere i used to be somebody that loved going to like events and gatherings and found real joy and energy from that. And then I became somebody who didn't like I avoided them at all costs. Part of me thinks I have avoidant personality disorder because I avoid social situations as often as possible. But um, my symptoms line up with both that and just regular social anxiety. So it could be both. I have no idea. But either way, I knew I needed to change. And, uh, about a month ago, I was like, this is at a point where I just, I can't function really. And I can't think I'm not motivated. I'm not happy. I am not joy filled by anything. I, you know, we have a group that we meet up with every couple of weeks and I'm just terribly anxious. Every time we do that, I'm terribly anxious. Anytime we go to my in-laws house, um, I just can't function. I really can't. And it's, it's really uh, I don't even know what the word is, but it's, it's, uh, oh, debilitating. That's the word I'm trying to think of. So I went to my doctor and, uh, they were like, try escitalopram. Uh, it is a generic version. Will it zoom? I just like seeing the zoom. Sorry. Uh, it's a generic version of Lexapro and we'll start you off on five milligrams. The first day I took it, 
I felt so good. I did. I can't explain it. It might have been the placebo effect. It might have been actually working. But it was like such a stark difference from how I felt the previous day. And I just remember going on a walk with my wife and just feeling fine. Feeling good about everything. I felt like I was looking at the flowers and I was like, those are beautiful. And just enjoying the sunshine and enjoying my wife and enjoying the sights and enjoying the feeling of walking. And just, I loved it. It was great. And then the next day I kind of felt back to normal and I was like, okay, what's going on here? Uh, and after about 28 days, I called my doctor and I was like, hey, can, uh, can you bump me up a little bit? And uh, a day later, I got a text from CVS, my local pharmacy, that I could pick up my prescription. So I go pick it up. It's five milligrams again. I was like, what? What? I asked to up it. I wasn't actually mad, but I was like. Maybe they didn't up it because I remembered that it, they said it takes four to six weeks to kick in, which is ludicrous to me because I'm like, why does it take that long? But that's science. That is what happens. And I just have to accept it. Um, but so I, I t kept taking the five milligrams. And then a day later, I got a call from the doctor's office saying, oh, your doctor just upped your dose. You can go pick up your new prescription. And I was like, oh, okay. So I went, picked it up, and I started taking the 10 milligrams. And... Almost immediately, I felt better. Um, the first day I took it, my wife later that day said that I just seemed happier, that I seemed like I was high energy and that things were, you know, it, it, it's how she remembers me and she, she loves that. And she like teared up and it was, it was like, it was so good to see her happy again because she – I feel like she feels like she has to be that when I'm not that. And I'm not that a lot. So she was very happy about that. So uh, the last couple of days I've been taking this, the 10 milligrams as opposed to 5, I have been feeling much more like myself. And it is great. I hate that I, I – I don't know. I hate the idea that I would have – I would have to rely on medication to feel normal. I hate that. I, I, I keep thinking maybe there's some diet or, or food or something that I could eat or a way I could live that wasn't so... Uh, actually, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is I wish there was one of those things that I could do, cha diet change or something, where I could feel normal you know, it, it, I I don't want to have to rely on medication, or pills, and uh, there's what I'm saying is there has to be a more natural way to fix this, and sometimes there isn't is what I've been told, and I just I kind of hate that, but if it helps, I don't mind taking it. You know, it's just one pill a day, and we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. But uh, yeah, that that has been my review of escitalopram so far. We'll see what happens. The says may cause drowsiness and dizziness. Careful using vehicle vessel machines. Call doctor if you experience mood changes, sadness, depression, or fear. Do not drink alcoholic beverages when using this medication. So I'll give you guys like a two-month update. I'll give you guys a three-month update. This is escitalopram. And apparently can do things to you like, uh, like lower your sex drive, raise your hunger, which I'm kind of nervous about because I would like to go on more fasts and I don't want to just be so ravenously hungry all the time, but we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, my name is Jake Damon, AKA the fasting nomad. This has been my review of escitalopram. And uh, be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, this channel is kind of mainly about mental health, physical health, and my journey to peak Jake Damon. And that I'm on the journey every day. So we're going to just figure that out. I'm rambling now. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Uh, I'm about to do a set of seven videos chronicling seven days of fasting, a week-long fasting journey. Uh, please follow me on that. Do it with me if you want. And yeah, talk to you in the next video. Bye.